Now with our GMA cover story, we fell in love with actress Shanna Doherty on the hit show Beverly Hills 90210. Well now she has a new podcast where she's opening up like never before about her battle with cancer and the lessons she's learned. We're going to speak to her live in a moment, but first, take a look. Actress Shannon Doherty became a household name as Brenda Walsh on the blockbuster 90s TV show Beverly Hills 90210. Everybody here looks like they just stepped out of a music video. I don't even have the right hair. She went on to star in another huge hit, Charmed. The spell was only supposed to work on me, okay? It said those in this house. But in 2015, the actress was diagnosed with breast cancer, undergoing chemotherapy, radiation, and mastectomy. Following the grueling treatment, Doherty announcing some good news. I am blessed, I know that. But for now, remission. I'm going to just breathe. But earlier this year, the 52-year-old revealing that the cancer had spread to her brain and just recently spread to her bones. Yet she remains full of fight and hope. I'm not done with life. I'm not done with living. I'm not done with loving. I'm not done with creating. I'm not done with hopefully changing things for the better. It is great to have Shannon here in the studio with us this morning. Shannon, thank you. Always great to have you here. It's so much fun seeing you. I'm it's always happy to, to hang out with you a little bit. Well, I love hanging out with you as well. And you, you, this, this podcast you're doing, you're really letting people into your heart, into your mind. Um, we know you've been battling the United States for breast cancer. And now you announced it spread to your bones. So how are you feeling, first of all? I'm feeling great for the most part. Um, <clears throat> you know, there's some times when you don't feel good and, mm -hmm. and you just sort of power through. But overall, I feel happy and blessed and um, thankful. And what are, you, what are your doctors telling you? They, you know, they tell me that we're just going to keep on chasing protocols. It's mm -hmm. essentially you, you, you hope to stay on one for as long as possible. And you know, our, our, we have amazing things happening right now in the cancer world with new clinical trials and everything else. So by the time this protocol that I'm on stops working, there'll be something else. And, and you know, I'm determined to outlive almost everyone. Yeah, <laughs> and that's a good thing. That's a great thing. So what, are you, what is your protocol? What, what, is, what is your um, day look like? What do your treatments look like? And what, what advice do you have for those who are on the same journey that you are on right now? I am on a protocol that has chemotherapy properties in it, so it's not traditional chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. And it's an infusion, I get it once every three weeks. You're sick for a couple of days. And, uh, y you know, those days you just kind of hang out, you catch up on TV, you do a little work on the computer, and you get taken care of. My mom comes and takes care of me and my friends stop by and bring me soup and bread and whatever I can possibly eat. So it's actually, you know, you feel a little spoiled. Yeah. You gotta always find you the positive, it, right? The silver it. lining. And, and you spoke of your mom and I know your mom had a health scare growing up. She had an aneurysm. Yes. She was only given a 10% chance to live. She pulled through and obviously it makes her, you know, extremely strong and strong-willed. What advice has she given you, uh, to you about not giving up? You know, there's a, there's a verse from the Bible that uh, you can do all things through Christ, which strengthens, mm -hmm. strengthens me. And so I was raised on that, um, which for me just really makes me believe that it's all about faith and, uh, and believing in a higher power and believing in yourself. And you know, you got to dig deep sometimes that that well is there uh, and you just keep digging into the well for the strength and, and the hope to to sort of get through every single day. And I, I do. I dig deep. Yeah. And, you know, and you were diagnosed in 2015 and, and but you've had a humorous outlook at all of this. How <laughs> are you able sometimes. to make uh, Yeah, but sometimes. <laughs> but even to have any humorous outlook on it is, is amazing to me. So how do you do that? How do you maintain that, that, that frame of mind? Well, what's the alternative? You know, the alternative is that you're negative and you're depressed, and that's not going to help your cancer at all. So especially if mm. you believe in, in mind over matter. And I think that a positive attitude and believing that you're going to, to get through it is... It, it resonates within your entire body. And, um, you know, the brain is a very powerful thing. And mm -hmm. laughter is 
always the best medicine. Yeah, laughter seems to help a yeah. little bit of everything. And you've been in the public eye for over 30 years. Your career, he says, full steam ahead. You know, you have this podcast going in where you're going deeper into your career and your life, everything that you've ever gone before. What do you think that, that people will be most surprised to learn that they may not know already? Oh, Ooh, there's some, there's some, oh, and ooh, and okay, there, yeah, yeah, there's some good ones on here. Uh, you know, they're going to learn a lot about Charmed. They're going to learn a lot about cancer. I have some amazing expert mm. doctors on that can really help anybody and their family members dealing with cancer in any way, shape or form. Uh, you, you know, and I think just, I think they'll be surprised by sort of the relationships because my guests are all amazing that I do have on and mm -hmm. they're friends and they're people that I've worked with that I've kept relationships with. So it, it's, it's going to be a wild, poignant, uh, sometimes incredibly emotional, uh, and a lot of humor, kind of a ride that I'm going to hopefully take people on. So you have your village, your support, your friends, your, yes. everybody who's behind you yes. on the podcast, which, which is amazing. And, and your 90210 co-star, Ian Ziering, he said you are a fighter. And I know you've developed quite a bond um, in the last few years, along with Brian Austin Green. How did, how did these guys, how did they show up for you? You know, Brian and I always sort of had a bond. And then Ian, Ian and I, our bond sort of came a little bit later in life. Mm -hmm. And those two check in on me constantly they are always sending me text messages do you need us for anything do you need me to do anything for you and whenever we you know see each other it's just warmth it's just mm -hmm. nothing but like love and hugs and i think that that's how you show up for somebody right is that by truly wanting for that person to be doing well because that yeah. exudes out to the other person well, you're showing up for us this morning. Gives us a big thrill of love Thank and hugs you. and everything else. Thank you. We really appreciate you being here. I appreciate as you. As always, it's great to see you. Thank you. All right, and Shannon's first episode of Let's Be Clear is out now. You can listen wherever you get your podcast. Do yourself a favor. Make sure you check that out. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.